It is the 2nd of the 8th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Going to get started on ENE News. Radioactive iodine detected in six seaweed samples by South Korea. Concerns over Fukushima contamination after TEPCO admits plant is leaking into the ocean. I'm going to call foul here because iodine has a half-life of anywhere from 8 days to 90 days. It depends on the specific isotope. Um, and it takes a long time for that water to get around the coast of Japan and into the South Korean seaweed. So we might have another problem, uh, be it in Korea somewhere or in China, that kind of thing, uh, where these, this iodine is definitely an alarm bell. Well, they said they also tested like 14 different fish and didn't find any radiation. Uh, so everything's completely under control and uh, no immediate threat. Enjoy your seafood. Giant Louisiana sinkhole now over 20 times larger than last year. Now this is bayou corn, or I like to call it lake corn. Quote, it's taken a, a volcano-like quality. So it's been bubbling up and settling down and bubbling up and settling down. And uh, there's a lot going on underneath. Uh, TEPCO done nothing for the last two years to stop highly ra radioactive Fukushima leak. Water above one sievert per hour admits uh, admits work. Quote: It has been done. It has not been done to this day because of difficulties involved. Uh, this is one of the turbine buildings they found a crack in uh, two years ago, and then they have been unable to stop that crack due to technical difficulties with all that is going on uh, on Fukushima Daiichi. Army General retired. Giant Louisiana sinkhole is unprecedented uh, environmental disaster. Concern about failure of another ca cavern nearby. Butane still being added to the salt dome. They're still adding butane to some of these other tanks uh, in this specific salt dome. And you got to remember they've got 50 or so of these skyscraper sized tanks drilled into the salt, which is water soluble and fractured throughout and uh, God knows what they pumped into these tanks over the years and years and uh, again th the problem is con it's, it's growing okay as the bigger the sinkhole goes it's the, the more it's gonna affect these close tanks because they're all closely p packed together they gotta maximize their profit don't they Japanese expert can contamination from Fukushima flowing beneath the seafloor question mark could spring up outside the port, and they're doing reports on how the groundwater can follow the bedrock underneath uh, the harbor and release into the Pacific Ocean from there, uh, kind of thing. Could be. Check out this next story. The deeper they check underneath the Fukushima plant, the higher con the, the contamination gets. They're now sampling over 40 feet below the surface, and they're saying the deeper they dig, the higher these numbers are, and they are staggering insane amounts of numbers, which just should go to prove to anybody who's paying attention that these nuclear reactors have broken through containment. The corium is underneath and in the environment and burrowing ever deeper down, um, following that, that line uh, into and underneath the Pacific Ocean. you got to remember... Uh, the highest temperature, surface temperature on the planet of the Earth, uh, ocean surface temperature, is right off the coast of Fukushima. I wonder why. Efforts have failed at Fukushima plant. Contamination levels still rising in seawater. Flown into, flow into ocean continues. Um, it's been flowing into the ocean for over two and a half years now. Over to the daily news, um, Fukushima Diary. TEPCO, 40 trillion becquerels of tritium leaked into the Pacific Ocean. They're still saying uh, they're, it's leaking 100 billion becquerels into the sea every day, and it has been every day for over two and a half years. Uh, TEPCO, tens of trillions of becquerels of tritium has leaked into the sea since... Uh, 2011 so, so insane insane um, again this just goes to show that they can't really hide the truth I mean the numbers are just getting so out of control uh, that they have to release these into the public and again enjoy your seafood 
Water level of reactor number two seaside trench increased by 30 millimeters in five days. Isn't that three centimeters? Um, 30 millimeters. And uh, cesium density in reactor number three steam higher than the gas inside. Uh, the steam may be from inside the reactor. A certain volume of M2 gas is still missing. So they're still pumping nitrogen into three. It's steaming, it's bubbling, it's, it's, it's pouring out from underneath. Uh, they put up the impervious wall so it's becoming this big cauldron of radioactive goo. And uh, don't worry folks, there's no immediate threat to the public. That's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, um, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.